Olsson ser till att Sverige får häng och får spela en förlängning. Men den stora lilla liraren bakom detta är guld. Det är Jobo Vibranje som nu kickar bollen högt upp mot Globens start. Titta och nu 33-31. Sverige är Europamästare för fjärde gången av fem vägar. Hi there, I'm Ivan Obalic. I was once the best handball player in the world. But the guys I'm gonna tell you about were pretty good too. Actually, they were legends. Players like Magnus Islander, Thomas Svensson, Stefan Olsson and Stefan Lovgren. What really made the Bengan boys special was their teamwork. And why Bengan boys? Well, that's thanks to their coach, Bengt Johansson. So, let's go on with the story. It all started with a miracle in Prague. For years, handball was dominated by the Soviet Union. Sweden hadn't been in the final for decades. In 1990, they reached the World Championship final in Prague against the Soviet Union. David versus Goliath. Against all expectations, Sweden won the title. It was the beginning of a new era. It was also the first of many epic battles between the two teams. In fact, they met again in the final of the EHF Euro 1994. The year before, the Russians had beaten Sweden at the World Championship in Stockholm. For the Euro final in 94, coach Johansson had a new ace up his sleeve, Stefan Lovgren. This time, Sweden were victorious. That was their EHF Euro title number one. Goalkeeping has always been a cornerstone of the Swedish handball strategy. And with his performance in the final, Thomas Svensson secured his place in the history books. 1998 saw them win their second EHF Euro title. Islander, fintar skott, Branjes trycker sig mellan. Other nations may have had bigger individual stars, but the Swedish backcourt of Branjes, Olsson and Andersson was a proof of what handball as a team sport is capable of. The following year, the Bengan boys won another world title after defeating all the rivals Russia. 2000 brought another trophy to Sweden's cabinet. EHF Euro title number three. That year also brought a third Olympic silver medal. It was close, but the Olympic gold was one prize the Bengan boys never got. Stefan Olsson promised to cut his hair the day Sweden won an Olympic gold medal. His barber is still waiting. I got to say, Stefan, Olympic gold is pretty special. Wanna see mine? An EHF Euro title is pretty special too. In 2002, the Bengan boys were going for their fourth. The final against Germany delivers high drama. 
six minutes from time, Sweden are leading by three goals. But then... Fifteen seconds left on the clock, with Sweden one goal down. Coach Johansson calls a timeout. The tension in the arena is almost unbearable. The German victory looks certain. And then Stefan Olsson scores the equalizer, and the match goes to extra time. Staffan Olsson ser till att Sverige får häng och får spela en förlängning. Men den stora lilla liraren bakom detta är en gång. Det är Jogo Vidranje som nu kickar bollen högt upp mot Globens stad. Titta och nu 33-31. Sverige är Europamästare för fjärde gången av Femberge. Vi delivar oss. The Bengal Boys last triumph. <laughs> neck and neck. <laughs> Yes.